hi there welcome to microsoft intune full training series this is going to be the series number 16 we have been discussing from the last four five series about deploying applications for windows devices and this is very special uh, series where we're going to deploy the web applications where web applications or web links can be deployed to any kind of devices it's not just the windows it can be an ios or android devices also so that being said we will try to deploy the web links for example when i say web links like it could be your teams portals or site or internal or external website links that will be available on a windows 10 devices on a start menu of course you cannot apply it as these web links to your desktop for that you need to check out some kind of a powershell script to you know copy paste to c colon users public um, public folder to the desktop and that would actually do the trick otherwise um, otherwise you could actually push the these kind of applications or the web links to your start menu let's see there's a need of internal help desk team to uh, contact then they can simply click on start button and go to uh, that web link so that that would be automatically opened so that being said let's give it a try with a demo how this is gonna work it's easy to deploy for example I could go to applications and I should be able to learn by platform or I could go for all applications so uh, as I said web link can be pushed to any of these not just for Windows so I could try from anywhere let's see if I want to try from all applications I could do it from here also directly web link and then I can choose a URL so this is the URL uh, you need to enter here the URL of that specific web page that you wanted to make it as a shortcut for end users let me fill all this information for you and show I try my best to fill this information for example let's take in scenario that uh, there could be IT help this team that needs to be uh, added to the start button here uh, as the icon so that they could reach it so what I can do is I could you know fill IT team help desk and description publish information all of that stuff including the category and here you could actually give the logo of that icon also so once I give this uh, proper working URL in my case I do not have this uh, URL but in case if you have some kind of you know good URL then you would be able to actually open that or just for the testing purpose what I can do is maybe I'll just change this to uh, maybe Microsoft.com and let's see uh, how this is gonna work that's it uh, that's how you can you know create it and you could you know apply to all devices all users based on your requirement and uh, this specific configuration is available for an installation or meaning removing the icon or including as the mandatory or available mode and that being said let's create this specific configuration uh, for web link and that should do uh, in a minute or so and we should be able to see on the end user uh, point of view I just logged into one of the test machine uh, which is my end user PC think that from end user point of view how it looks like so I could see here IT help desk has been automatically come up and I could open that so it should redirect to the URL which we have given in this case uh, Microsoft.com and it's simply going there automatically so that's how it's gonna work if it is the Android or uh, iPhone devices it will be coming on the home screen as the home icon that's how it's gonna work the web link I hope this entire lecture is useful for you thank you for watching this in case uh, if you're visiting the first time please do check out the description uh, for other lectures in this series thank you